In this video let's discuss about galactosemia. Before discussing about galactosemia, let's talk about what is galactose. It's actually a constituent of lactose which is called as milk sugar. So lactose is converted into glucose and galactose with the help of an enzyme called lactase. This galactose has function of synthesis of lactose, synthesis of cerebrosides, glycosaminoglycans, and glycolipids. Our body metabolizes galactose in the following way after it is split up from the lactose. The galactose is getting converted into galactose 1-phosphate with the help of an enzyme galactokinase. The galactose 1-phosphate is now converted into UDP galactose with the help of an enzyme galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase. This UDP galactose is converted into UDP glucose and used as fuel by our body. Now the deficiency of enzyme galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase causes the galactosemia. Galactosemia is actually an inborn error of metabolism and it occurs 1 in 40,000 births it is described by Hermann Kalkor. Now let's discuss about the clinical manifestations that are associated with galactosemia. The deficiency of enzyme galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase will lead to decreased blood glucose level, increased level of galactose, and elevated levels of unconjugated bilirubin in the blood. Decreased glucose level will lead to hypoglycemia, whereas elevated galactose in blood causes galactosemia. And some of these galactose are partially excreted in the urine, leading to galactosuria. Enlargement of liver is also seen as a consequence of galactosemia which is called hepatomegaly and jaundice, mental retardation and amino aciduria due to deposition of galactose 1-phosphate in the renal tubules. It also leads to congenital cataract due to the deposition of reduced form of galactose which is called dulcetol. We can diagnose cataract with the help of elevated galactose level in urine as well as in the blood. And we can also detect the galactosemia with the help of congenital cataract in children. Collection of fetal cells by amniocentesis is also useful in prenatal diagnosis of galactosemia. And for the affected infant, one should rely on lactose-free diet for the treatment. I hope you guys found this video useful. Do like this video and subscribe to Medinev for more. Have a nice day.